to fuck somebody up so bad, beat somebody so bad, embarrass somebody so bad, end his career so bad, take his life so bad. And I don't even say that figuratively, literally. I'm going to try to hurt him so fucking bad, they're never going to want to let me fight in the UFC again. That's a fact. Number one, he's a poser. And our sport has been so dead that everybody want to believe it. They want to believe in the hype because we don't have nothing else riding right now. John Jones is out for a minute. Connor's out for a minute. Ronda is getting inducted to the Hall of Fame. As far as stars and shit in the UFC, they're lacking. So we are willing to accept the bullshit that's come out of this kid's face. Everything is a f- complete fraud. He's finessed himself in a position to fight for world title. Now you're going to get what you asked for. You want to, You want this smoke? You want to come and fight the real welterweight champion? Now you're going to get your ass beat. I'm not going to knock you out quick. It's not going to be no first-round knockout. I'm going to embarrass you. I'm going to talk to you the whole fucking fight. I'm going to tell the referee, get back. Do not get in my way. Do not stop this. I'll tell you when it's time to stop this. Okay? Because it's disrespectful to my team. I'm embarrassed that he's a part of American Top Team. I'm embarrassed that he's a part of our sport. I'm embarrassed that he's in our division. Mockery to the sport. Ain't never did shit. But all of a sudden, we can talk, watch those takedowns. I got the highest takedown in the history of our sport. Not just our division, the history since this fucking sport started. I have the highest takedown defense in the history. This kid has never taken me down in his life. He's never won a millisecond of any round ever. Ever. On anything. He's a warm-up round. He the person I shadow box with before I get the real work in. And he will always be that to me. Because I let him talk. I let him bump his gun. And one, number one, as a man, when 99% of your page has my face on there, you need to check your manhood, bro. You, you're losing your man card. You won. You did it. You got, you got the clout. He's clout seeking. Clout seeking. He ended up on my page. He got the one post. There you go, bro. You got it. I, I stay on this dude's mind. While he out here bumping his guns, fighting for peanuts, I ain't fought in a year, and I guarantee you I made more money on TMZ and Fox than he did his entire career. Now I'm at. Now it's kill season. Now I'm going to walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. I can't wait to this fight. I don't know when it's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. That, that's for a fact. I know it's going to happen. If I got to pull up to Florida right now. And the funny thing is... When I was in Florida, oh my life, I wish I would have posted the video. I was trying not to be petty. When I was in Florida, the nigga was in the gym, and you're in the gym. I'm in there training, getting ready for my world title fight. He bumped his gums all these months. You know this bitch turned around to face the mirror, and he turned his back for 40 minutes because he didn't want to face me. He didn't want to speak. He didn't want to make eye contact. And guess what? He was right underneath my world title picture. He was standing underneath that mug, shadow boxing. The irony. Reminder, guys. I'm going to have to start reminding people because everybody forgot what I'm capable of. Forgot that I got the belt by knocking out one of the best great welterweights of all time. Two-time fighter of the year. Smoked in 46 seconds. Didn't get hit one time. Fastest KO. He's never KO'd somebody in his career. Ever. I've KO'd more people in practice on accident than he's ever will in his career. So I try not to give people clout. I try not to give people my platform. I work hard for this platform. A lot of years training, not getting paid. Um, hey, you know, bumps in the road, wins, losses, and still staying in there. I'm finna go ham. When I watched that bullshit. I was treadmill. Let's go. Workout. Let's go. No, I'm not coming on Fox. I'm not. I'm not addressing that. I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do my my action with my gloves. I never I never in my career. Number one, I never even punched a person as hard as I can in a fight. All my knockouts are in timing. I call somebody slipping, boom, pop, right up on them. That's where my knockouts come from. I ain't never just looked at somebody and said, I'm finna punch you and try to fucking break your skull. I'm finna try to push your shit in so bad that your mom won't notice you, you'll never fight again. When I get done with him, he's gonna hate MMA. He gonna hate me. He gonna hate that Dana put him in there and fucking sacrifice him to the wolves. And that's facts. Everybody that's hitting me up, kick his butt, this, 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 man. Oh man, right now, no, no, no. 
but don't let them get to you because that's my hardest. The hardest part of this training camp is not the conditioning. Anybody can be in shape, bro. Tell me how you're going to put your chin on a treadmill. Put your chin on a treadmill. Let me see the cardio of your chin when I punch you like you ain't never been fucking hit in your life. Let me see what your chin do when I hit you and you feel like you got hit with a cast iron skillet. Everybody think they want it until they get in there and they get hit. And bitches start backing up. Put your chin on the trail. Let's see the cardio of your chin. You ain't never taking me down. You ain't never took me down in the training room. You ran from me every time we trained. Your ass went home early like a coward. Oh, my ankle hurt. We was wrestling. You wouldn't even wrestle me. And these are facts. Now, I know we, these are facts. Wouldn't even wrestle me. Had to bring in my striking guy, Taylor Craw. I wish he was on it right now. I'll bring him on live. To, to confirm the story. I bring Edmund Bilbasu to confirm the story. I bring Dean Thomas to confirm the story. Tyrant, ease up on Kobe. You only got two training partners, man. You don't want to rough them up. Nobody, nobody, you ask for it, you're going to get it. Watch what you ask for. People bumping your gums. You want to be Connor so bad. You want to be Chell Sonnen so bad. And John Hartnett, you a bastard, coward, punk. And you writing this shit from him. Guys, he's gotten this ready. John Hartnett, you used to be my homie. You used to be my ace. Now I want to slap the taste out your mouth. You should be embarrassed that you're a part of this bullshit. Any fighter that's writing his shit, you writing this out, dog? People live this for real. You writing this out like a script. You think it's a game, but what's going to happen is you're going to get in the octagon. You're going to see a Woodley that ain't nobody ever seen. You're going to see, you're going to see a man that is on a mission. I ain't going to talk shit. I ain't going to give you the time of day, but I promise you, it's smoke. It's smoke. My coach has already been hit up. Camp will start ASAP. And um, I never had so many people want to help me whoop some ass. John Jones hit me up. John don't ever hit me up. John hit me up and said, hey, whatever you need, bro, I got you. And he don't really, hey, this is my thing for the deal. When I say they think they want some, my whole jam scream. But they don't really want none. That's my whole fucking, all these welterweights. They don't realize my toughest matches are behind me. The Carlos Condes, the real fighters, the Robbie Lawlers, the Jake Shields, the Roy McDonald's, the Nate Marcos, the Koscheks, the Paul Daly's, the Jay Herons. These are real fighters that earned it. When the UFC used to come and find you after 10 wins, you go 10-0 and 0 and then you get the call from the UFC. Not talk shit, not a tough show. Not because the division's quiet and one person's making noise, you get to jump the, you get to jump the, um, skip the ladder. No. You was a fight pass fighter, fight pass phenom, only fight in Asia, first fight ever on Fox was against Damian Maya, and now you finna get that word. Facts. So, for everybody that support me, for everybody that, hey, there's people that can't stand me that just want me to whoop his ass so bad, they have to put that aside. They said, you was born in your last couple fights. But they said, I don't care. Whatever it takes. I, I got people putting back. Hey, I'll pay you. How much do it take? I want to come and camp. What do you need? Da, 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 da. Hey, I don't need nothing. I'm ready. I'm motivated. And you know what? I feel bad for RDA. You are, my God, you're a tool. I try to tell you. I try to message you. Bruh, it was no point of the interim fight happening. I could have fought in June. I told the UFC that. I could fight in July. You fought an unnecessary fight. You rolled the dice, and it didn't come out for you. Your chances to fight, you beat Robbie Lawler. That's all you had to do to come and get this. Now you want to let this scrub beat you. And now you got to fall back and win two, three fights in a row. Should have listened, bro. I told you, hey, what you fight him for? You got the next shot. I mean, you can get it whenever. I told the UFC, let's go, July 7th, August 4th, let's go, let's go. Champion hasn't even been out. Of, I ain't been out a whole year. I fought July 29th. I can fight right now. I can fight right now. If he was in front of me, I would give him a fade right now. Line his ass right up. Yeah, me and, me and Dan Lambert are still cool. I talked to Dan. Yeah, me and Dan are cool. Me and Dan are always going to be cool. Do I do I agree with um I don't think it's worth any world. I don't care if it's the best fight on earth. When you disrespect the art, you're disrespectful to the sport. You have no humility. You're talking, bumping at the gums, and you're making the sport. You're making our team. You're making my weight class, the Woodley weight division. I'm the king of that division. It's the Woodley weight division. It's one king. 
It ain't no interim. Why are we? It's a it's an interim belt for what? Where was I at? Why didn't they even have me come to the fight? Wow, that's that's a good question. Why wasn't I ringside? Why didn't I work the Fox S? Because they know what it is. They didn't. Why didn't he come to St. Louis? He was scheduled to be in St. Louis to be a guest fighter. Why didn't he come to St. Louis? Ask the UFC why. He don't want to come to my city. People don't take kind of you calling somebody really from the hood a bitch. Some of my people will walk up on him and touch him. And that's not even a threat. That's a fact. That's why he's not in St. Louis. Quig, I told you a long time ago about this dude, man. I told you about this guy. Now, now he got to pay. Now he got to pay. He got me at the wrong time. I'm not mentally, I'm not mentally in the right spot for somebody to be talking shit. He's gonna get hurt.